We're on the road. Um, we were just talking, Marie and I, about... Yeah, it's, is it 10.30? Oh, 10.30, okay, that's fine. Uh, Marie and I were just talking about uh, this stuff, this hand lotion. It was actually like this weird cookie thing, right? It's cookie dough. It's cookie dough, so it's been smelling like really bad and it's weird. Like, no, it's like really sweet. sweet. Like yeah. Um, but then what happened was we ran out of, of, uh, I mean, we used it. So we, well, I've been we, trying to mix others in there. Yeah, because the bottle's I good. Bought, fits in your pocket. But the last, well, I can keep that in the car. Yeah. But the last bottle I had was heavy flower smell. I don't know You why said it was like you collect this. No, no, no. That was the last one I had. Uh, so it was still too strong. Yeah. I don't like, no. so then you bought a new bottle of antibacterial. And it said. And it said unscented. Unscented. But. But it smells like eucalyptus. They lied. I hate they eucalyptus. lied. So now. So now I mixed it in there and now it's like, smells like a eucalyptus cookie. Yeah, it's like Gross. every time, every time we use it, it's like eucalyptus cookie. I don't know. It's like, can I have some of them eucalyptus cookies? Yeah. We were even debating if they make that stuff. You know, if it's a thing. So eucalyptus cookies. You were saying probably some help. Yeah. Well, if I mix the eucalyptus one with the flowery one, that would be a better what? combination. What actually is eucalyptus? Is it a leaf or a... It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, so leaf cookies. But it's Man. strong. Yeah. yeah. It's a strong what, what do people use? Do they eat the leaf or they like squeeze out stuff? Or... I don't know. Is it like medicinal? Like aloe vera? Yeah. So they just eat the leaf like in salad? I don't know. Have <laughs> a eucalyptus salad like that? No. <laughs> like a Caesar salad? No, I think it's just for All right. the smell. All right, so what are we doing today? Uh, friends of ours are doing a clean out. Yes. Uh, the family needed to have the... Uh, no estate uh, sale. Well, just, they yeah. can't yeah. 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 because of what's going on. West. And they don't have time. They got to clean out the house. Yeah. So they don't have time to wait. Today's like the the, the day that because it I, happens. Because I guess a, a relative passed and left them the house. Yeah. And so they're doing a clean out. Yes. But she said that the lady that lived there, the older lady, was a QVC holic. Yeah. And the house is full of dolls and jewelry and. But all, all that this, stuff. All this stuff and. Yeah. Uh, but all that stuff was... She actually gave the people a deal because there was so much stuff that she could resell that she was like, you know... You know, I don't think a, a clean-out is an insane amount, so she probably knocked off, like, maybe 500 or something, or... I don't know. I'm sure it was it's a really good deal. Business. Yeah, I, I don't know. ask, and you shouldn't say. Well, all I, all I was going to say is we're going to cherry-pick the leftovers. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's just that she offered to let us... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa. Shoot, I always forget that that hole is there. That's like an insanely big it's hole. It's been there for like five months. It's uh. just that we haven't been coming this way, so I forgot. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I felt that all the way up my spine. So how do you feel about it? This is like your first time getting out and doing something like this. Well, it's good to get out. Yeah. It's a nice day. It's actually going to be warm today. <sighs> I know. It's like the, the process of slowly going in, insane because you're not doing anything different. You know, like, our routine has been, like, just get up, do eBay. Uh, and then go to the bed. Like, it's eat, eBay poop, you know, like that. That's pretty much it. Post office and a store. So we're actually going to see some people we know, which will be nice, uh, I guess. But it's like, I know you were all nervous and everything. Well, it's like, I don't know. Like Nobody wants to get sick. sick. Yeah, you know, I know. It's, it's, uh, uh, there's not a lot of people on the road, I'll tell you that much. Well, right now, at least. It's past the time when people go to work. Yeah, oh, well, nobody's going to work. I, I, except, like, essential workers. Uh, people doing that. No, there's a lot of people going to work. Yeah, that's what I meant, essential workers. Like, not like everybody's going to work, you know, like like they used to. And now it's just people are working stores. I mean, they're talking about opening up the state somewhat. Keep left on to I-95 South. You know? Then keep right. They're going to, like, allow some stores to do uh, right uh, curbside pickup, road. things like that. So maybe 
You know, our state was pushing for, uh, for some reason, uh, Murphy likes Memorial Day as a, a more of a, a general reopening. Well, because South Jersey is a beach yeah. country. And I don't that, know if they open and, the beaches yet, though. That's like a large part of uh, Jersey's income, I guess, is the tourists. Yeah, definitely. Go down. Well, you and just Memorial don't Memorial wanna... Day is the day that starts the season. Yeah, it's so, like... It's like everybody, everybody goes out no more. It's the summer. It's an unofficial yeah, start of summer. The beginning of summer. It's yeah. Beginning or of official start of summer. And, and they're they're Jonesing to open up the boardwalks. Yeah, I mean Florida tried opening the beaches, but then they shut them right down. I mean, uh, so we'll if see. People would be smart about it. Yeah. And do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Then proceed cautiously. But you always have those smart asses that think, oh, nobody knows what they're talking about, you know. It's well, like so in fun. Wisconsin. It's just like a flu. It's not that big a deal, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Um, so no, in it's, Wisconsin. As good as you are, it's just like when you're driving. No matter how good of a driver you are. Yeah, it's the other you guy. You have to watch out for the other idiots driving. Yep. So it's the same with this now. You know, no matter how uh, careful you might be. You have to worry about other people yeah. and how they are going to be. Like when Daisy was a baby, yeah. you know, to be in a carriage, wheeling her down the street, how many people turned their head and coughed on her yeah. or sneezed on her or, and I would be like, dude, like, yeah. like, like, can you no, like, I not know. do that? Because they don't think that the, the, about the child being down, it's you true. know? And it's it's like, like throw garbage in a carriage, you know. <laughs> Just like I don't know. But no, I know what you mean. You know, so you have to watch. Well, I was gonna say, like people. in Wisconsin, they open up and everybody's like, "Let's go to the bars." Yeah, it's like, and they're showing these packed bars and stuff. It's like serious. You know. I mean, they had Zoom parties where you, uh, cocktail hours. Just do that. Well, Daisy did that with her friends and sort of. Yeah. You yeah. know, they they. Daisy ordered dinner, and they all sat and had dinner together, and, talk. and Philip came down to our house and got some kind of alcohol, you know? Yeah. So, he was having a drink party with his friends, so... Yeah. I, they were just hanging out. I mean, I guess we just have to uh, see what happens, you know? But it's just, you know, that's, that's why I'm worried about... I mean, who can afford to get sick? Because yeah. it's those stupid people, like, once the flea market start again... Yeah. It's those stupid people that don't care that are probably going to be our best customers. They like the guy that lives under you know. the bridge. No. <laughs> yeah, probably. I um, thought you were going to say like people that just like... You know, the people that are more like me where they're a little more guarded or worried. Yeah. Um, um, are going to be worried about coming to the crowded flea market or they might be worried huh. about... You know, exchanging money. I, I, it's know? like, so, I'm not desperate to, like, once I start the flea market, it's like, I'm going to go to the flea market and sell. It's like, yeah, I can wait and see. You know what I mean? Like, the first day it's open. I was thinking, like... Uh, it, the first it, day it's open, it might be, like, crazy, you know... That's what I'm saying. ...some business, because people are just wanting to get out. Yeah. And I guess we just need to get gloves. I'm, I'm curious about, like, what the... Mass. like what the metal ends will be like the day that it opens. It would probably be like in complete insanity. You know what I mean? You don't know. It might be complete insanity or it might be dead. Yeah, I think you I think know, it's because it's like people weird. People are afraid to come to an area where there's gonna, where they think there's going to be so many people. Well, I bet you all the business will be done early in the morning. You know what I mean? And the rest of the day, if you like it'll be well, it'll be back you're to the reversal. Get those guys that come and, you know, buy for eBay, but yeah. they don't want to pay anything for anything. No, but that's when all the money, because like then you have to rely on regular people that just want to go uh, and stroll around the flea market. Wow, somebody's like exercising. You see it? And they're um, what do you call it? Balcony. All the way up there, they got like an exercise bike or something. Um, no, what I'm saying is though, like the first day of the Meadowlands, probably what'll happen, it'll be insane, super, super early. Like if we if we were to say, let's go talk to the vendors, see what it's like that day, right? Uh, or let's walk through just to see what it's like. Not not even to set up, right? Uh, not even to buy. And I bet if we went, it would be like, everybody was like, dude, I sold everything out this morning. Because people were just like, what do you want for the bucket? What do you want for everything? Because they wouldn't want to like root around. And the guys would probably have it set up. 
where it, it might be something like that just so they don't have to, to put everything out and stay longer than they had to. I don't know. I just imagine that it's going to be really weird, you know? They're going to have, like, people walking around uh, for the market making sure everybody's social distancing or, like, uh, people wearing masks when they come into Before they come into the market, they got to wear masks or... I was joking around that people would just, like, they'd set up the lanes and people would drive by in their car. You know, like a long line. And then you just drive Shop by the market in your car. Yeah. I was joking. I know that could never happen. They, they would do that down in Florida. Yeah, I know. But a lot of people do that. They call it drive-by. You know, you set up your yard sale and, and, and people drive by slow and they're looking out, you know. And and either they stop or don't. I mean, we do that occasionally. Usually I run out and just... Practice social and vehicle distancing. Yeah, well, I guess you can get... Uh, I guess they never said how long coronavirus that's, lives that's, on cars. That's a new way to say don't tailgate? Or... Yeah, that's probably it. Because if the guy in front of me coughs out of his window, no social distancing is going to keep me away from it. I'm going to do I'm driving right through it, like, two seconds after he did it. Yeah. No, I guess it's, it's like... They could say, how long does, social, does coronavirus live on your car? You know? Um, it's just that, you know, <laughs> a today's days. a nice day, so people might have their windows open. Yeah. You know, so... Like I said, you know, I just remember, we gotta get the air conditioner in this thing fixed, right? Yeah. Right? Don't we? I don't I think we do. Um, I think it's this car. You know, because we were driving around in Florida, no air conditioning. And we're like, ah, we'll just fix this. Yeah, that's true. I, I, it's like we haven't even seen Effie. We went for gas. Well, Effie's our mechanic, so. Uh, but it's like the people we haven't seen in quite a while. You know, there's only some people that we've seen. Like today, everybody we're going to see, we haven't seen in like two months, right? Yeah. At least. Because, uh, and they were like, before this all happened, they were talking about, oh, I can't wait till uh, um, the Connecticut uh, elephant trunk opens up and everybody had all these plans. You know, like, do you think they'll have the Rutherford Street Fair this year? Yeah, so weird. All the street fairs for JC so far have been canceled. Yeah, up to like maybe the middle of All June. All the way through June. Yeah. Yeah, so you just you don't know. You don't have a clue. You know, what what'll be happening? Are you gonna get yourself a coffee today? Uh, like a Dunkin' Donuts yeah. drive here or something. I mean, I, you probably will. Yeah, but you know, do they, like, you hear these stories that. McDonald's employees wanted to go on strike because they were told that they're not allowed to wear masks or gloves or whatever. I don't know about that's McDonald's. I think it's other places. No, it was a McDonald's. Was I remember it? that for sure. You're freaking out the customers, but I, I didn't know they had where they allowed customers in. I thought it was other businesses. Yeah. But it's like they, they think like... Yeah, here. Yeah. Where I go are people actually using gloves and masks. You can eucalyptus cookie dough in a cup, I guess. I went into 7-Eleven and they were selling like the disposable masks for like two fifty. Really? Yeah. Oh, like the ones we have? Yeah. I didn't buy any though. I didn't really, you know. They were like, yeah, you get a box of, uh, it was a box of either 10 for $25, which I was like, well, that's not really a deal. Yeah, it's not a deal. Yeah. I don't think it was 10 or 20 or something. I'm not really sure. I was you just saying. Uh, just go online and just. Yeah. I pretty much buy it, like a lot of stuff online. Yeah, we've been uh, Yeah, like maybe we'll go to Walmart today. I don't know. We have to decide. That's true. She might. AJ had some masks, but he says he used them up. So that's why I was gonna buy some. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see what it's like. I just was curious, like how, what you were thinking. Like about if you're, what? I don't know, just about the whole thing because it's the first time you're doing this. You know, uh, like I went, I went with Dan, but you didn't get out of the car. I went into a, an estate. Like we might see Carmela today. Uh, yeah, maybe he'll be there. You know. Well, she had a the lady bought like dolls galore, so yeah. she also places full of dolls. So no one's gonna She'll probably just take her. Yeah. No, uh, I'm just. I don't even. We're just. Going for the hell of it, pretty much. Bruce is going for the Boyd's Bears, but he wants the, the, 
plushy ones. Fluffy ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they sell for, I think they sell for like 20 bucks, 15, 20 easy, maybe more. I just, I, I don't need dumb stuff. So I'll go, I'll look, we'll catch up. Said, you know, I was like, going to get cookies, cookies, but I forgot. I went, when I went into Iyada, they had cookies, but then I was like, I don't know, do they eat cookies? I, you know, I, I don't know if Mike's allowed to eat regular no, cookies. Mike has sugar. You can't buy it. Yeah, so that, I, I, that's what it's I thought. It's bad. It's like a pump, I think. Yeah, I thought, I thought better of it. When I went to you Elijah. Like a bag of carrots and then <laughs> You can have a banana. <laughs> no, not even. There. No. Banana has too much sugar? There's too many. There's some fruits that are just way too high in sugar. Uh, like bananas, grapes, oranges. Yeah. You know, if you're diabetic, you're not supposed to. Yeah. Eat, eat bananas, I guess. Alright, well... I guess we're on the way. How, how much longer do we have? Uh, I figured I'd just... No. Well, I, I, we, we've been blah, blah, blah for 15 minutes. This so. thing tells me what time we're arriving. Okay. It doesn't have what time it is now. Oh. All right. It doesn't matter. And I don't want to take my phone out. That, it's not worth it. I can go by this, but that's not a clock, right? Oh, there's Patterson. Good old Patterson. I was, like, thinking about how they were saying that the... Uh, they just had a, an election there, like a... Special election? I don't know, probably for, like, council or something. Yeah. But uh, a bunch of the ballots had gotten stolen. Yeah. Well, that's because... And it... a bunch of ballots had been sent in in other people's names. I guess there was some kind of YouTube video showing somebody mailing a stack of them. Yeah. They're, like, they're trying to discredit uh, mail-in voters so voting because they, they don't want it. They went around the area and they were talking. Now, now Patterson is, uh, a, uh, is, is a lot of minorities in Patterson. Yeah. So there's a lot of Spanish people and a lot of them don't speak English. No. So they had interviewed this one lady because her name was on the list that she had voted. And she's like, I didn't vote. Yeah. She said, somebody stole my identity. You know, she was, there's a there's a movement so against. Uh, they were finding out that a lot of people that supposedly voted didn't. Yeah. So they were discrediting like 800 of them and stuff sure. like that, and then people were mad like, why are you going to do that? You know, why don't you just like just contact these people and I don't know. It was just. There there's literally a movement against mail-in uh, voting because if. They did it. Too many people would vote, and uh, it would stir things up too much. You know, they try to. There's a. Uh, a lot of people don't like it when when uh, we vote. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, and, it, and it's easier for them to mess in an area. That's, yeah. So if they say, "Oh, you can't uh, trust uh, vote by mail," that's a more of a minority area. Well, because you know? generally because they believe they vote Democrat. Don't know what's going on. They don't know their names have been stolen. She wouldn't have known. Yeah. Unless that reporter came and knocked on her door and said, sure. you know what, we saw your name on a Hey, voter fraud, phone. Yeah, they made the laws very strict. You get a she lot of trouble for it. So, and yeah. she didn't plan on going out to vote. Yeah. I guess because there's a lot of people that are going to go out to vote because they don't want to get sick. Yeah. So now people Well, that's why mail-in voting would make sense. That's right, why you know. people want to be sneaky, to be more sneaky and steal people's identities and vote in their name. Yeah. You know, I, I actually, I, I personally think that it's not like, I think it's just a movement to discredit see, uh, I mail and vote. That if you got, because the lady said she never got it in the mail. Because the, so either somebody's stealing it at the post office. Nah, it's, when they come in a clone. Okay, there's basically because the main you would suspect. Think, wait a minute. So you would think that when the form comes to your house, it has your name, your address, and some sort of ID number. Yeah. That only you have. But, so. People can't just vote in your name without having that piece of paper. Let me just ask you something. Who do you think the main suspect would be in a case of voter fraud? Do you think it's the citizen voting? Or do you think it's the, the person who wants no, the votes? No, it's, it's, it's the creeps that are running for office. Right. And it might not be one or the other. It might be both. Right. So if voter... Or people that work for those people. Yeah. So they can easily say, I didn't have nothing to do with it. I don't know what's going on. Because right. they didn't. Yeah. But the people that work for them or the people that... I don't know. Our voting know, system is whack. It's like the worst in the world. It doesn't make any sense. It discourages voting, which is, again, 
uh, something that, that people like to discourage, uh, it could be done. And everybody goes, oh, there'd be further fraud. So you root out the fraud. There's fraud in everything. You root it out. You, you, you get rid of it. You take care of it. Uh, it would work better. And again, it would help the post office. You know, like uh, I, I know uh, a lot of a lot of people uh, in our in our government want to privatize everything, including the post office. They don't like um, they don't want like things that are run uh, smoothly and efficiently gov by government. They prefer that some one of their buddies makes a lot of money off of it. It's, you know, skims, just pretty much like they do in healthcare. Um, but uh, it would help the post office, and uh, the post office has been saddled with this ridiculous rule where they have to pre-fund uh, the people that are going to retire for 75 years in advance. So a lot of people that are going to work at the post office who haven't even been born yet, they have to pre-fund their retirement package. It's, it's like ridiculous. It was meant to kind of crush the post office. Um, clever ways that they do to kind of bankrupt something or ruin it or whatever. Um, but the post office has even started that part-time hiring. And, well, because the post office it, it's is... like you got people that... Do you know the post office isn't allowed to make... They on a uniform yeah. and like wear regular clothes in their own car. The post office doesn't have to make a profit. They just run on like costs. It's like Social Security. Social Security doesn't have to make a profit. So Social Security is self-funded. So then when they say, oh, Social Security is going to run out, it's not. What happens is they just have to extend funding. You know, they have to either increase it a little bit or, uh, or, uh, or, or just they have to allow for more money to be collected. Like say they increase the amount that's collected by people instead of like the first uh, 100000 like you, that you make uh, and then they stop because, you know, they, they cap. Uh, if you make a certain amount of money, that's it, 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 I think this is designed for especially wealthy people. Once you make a certain amount of money and pay a certain amount of money into Social Security, you don't have to pay anymore. Now, really, there's no reason to cap that, you know. Um, but they do, and that that limits the funding that's raised. Uh, again, people that can afford to pay into it, they really don't need it, but still can draw from it, you know. Uh, they they get off the hook. Most people will pay Social Security for, for all their lives. And the percentage that they, they, they pay into is far more than the percentage of, of someone who has a lot more money. You know what I mean? Who may or may not need it. Um, but it's it's self-funding. So, so Social Security will never go bankrupt. When they say Social Security will go bankrupt, they're lying. You know, it, it doesn't go bankrupt if people pay into it. And it's like the post office. The post office doesn't have to make a profit. It just has to uh, uh, maintain doesn't have to it just has to make enough money to uh, exist but what what's been happening is they uh, post office has two things that uh, they don't like it has a very strong union and then they were gonna you know the post office is gonna be the first uh, government agency uh, that was gonna go all electric did you know that they're gonna do all electric cars and stuff yeah. they were gonna lead the way and that's when they saddled it with that uh, oh yeah well you got to prefund 75 years of retirement <laughs> and it was like what <laughs> So it, it nearly bankrupted the post office, um, and then they would have said, "See, government can't run anything. We have to bring in private industry to run it, right?" Which means somebody else gets paid, which means it costs more. It's not more efficient; it's less efficient. You know, post office has been working fine for 200 years to start uh, bankrupt, try and bankrupt. But I don't know, feral gas. All right. So anyway, we can't be too far now because this is like almost a 30-minute video. I think I'm going to end it here since I got, I got, we got a little bit of a all, all rounded, well rounded discussion in. And uh, I'll see, we'll see if you get any. We'll see if it's like this is fruitful or if we just went for a nice, a nice, do you, are you enjoying the drive? Yeah. No? Yeah. All right. Just to be out. I am, just to be out. Day. All right, anyway. See if we get anything. Bye for now.